Hey everyone, it's Kirsten from Red Fruits Crafts. Good afternoon. It is Friday here in um, Italy. It's a little after 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, I haven't really, just wanted to jump on because I haven't posted anything in um, almost a week now. Had a few things going on that I will discuss with you guys. Um, I have done a few projects and whips. I guess actually they're all whips. No FOs, no, that's it. All whips. Um, but right now, I am going to be having a little bit of a rant session with you all. Um, we are, again, as you know, or may not know, we are a military family living in Italy. Um, we have about another year and a half left here before we return to the States. Um, we love it. We love being able to um, co coexist with the Italians and everything like that. Um, my daughter, though, she goes to um, preschool off base. She goes to an asilo. It is um, like preschool, Italian preschool. Um, she loves it. It's great. I love it. I love the school that she goes to. It's about five minutes away from our house. The only thing and the only problem that I have with the Azelio and the Italian um, school systems is they don't know how to treat head lice. Or the parents, they don't know how to enforce um, head like keeping kids home from who have head lice and stuff like that. They keep sending their kids to school, even with head lice, even after they treated it one time maybe. It's doesn't kill them. It's still gonna, you know, make its way to more kids. Um, but my daughter, she was fine this week. Um, she went to swim practice with, at school on Tuesday. That night, I was checking her hair, and what do I find? Whole head full of lice eggs. Which, great, it's the eggs. Caught it early. Don't have to worry about any of the adults and stuff like that. So, Wednesday morning, I go take all of our bedding and sheets and clothes, take them to the laundromat because the little washes that they give us here can't, just, they're, it takes three hours for a little laundry, let's just say that. Wash and dry, three loads, three hours each. So, six hours for one load. Go do that at the laundromat, get all of the clean, get all the blankets cleaned, wash, all that fun stuff. Go to the commissary, which is our grocery store. Get the little, um, I'll show you have it right here. Get the little rid kit to get rid of everything in our head. She has, by the way, she doesn't really have, she doesn't have long hair like me. Her hair probably comes about up to here on her. She, it used to be longer. Um, I'll insert a picture of her um, right after this, right here. I'll insert a picture right here. Um, she has dark hair and it's not it's short yeah she's got short hair but it's really really thick it took me four hours from start to finish to do her hair I was luckily lucky only to find two adults on her head great just two I got basically every single egg off it's fabulous four hours later got it she got taken care of, you know. Gonna do a second treatment in a couple days. Hopefully it'll be good. Um, I kept her home today. Was it Wednesday? No, when, sorry. Let me backtrack for a second. Wednesday I checked her head. And that's when I noticed the infestation. Wednesday I noticed it. Thursday. Am I saying Wednesday again? Yeah, no, it was Wednesday. Sorry. Wednesday night I noticed it. Thursday, sorry, trying to get my days straight. Thursday, we went and did all the cleaning, washing, doing our hair, stuff like that. Great. I kept her, today's Friday. I kept her home today, so that way you know. She wouldn't um, give it to anyone else if she does still have it, because I did check her this morning. She had one adult and a couple microscopic eggs, which, fine. Second treatment will help with that. Kept her home today. I didn't want her getting anyone else contaminated with it. Um, this way I know it's cleared up from her and I can better prevent her from getting it again. 
contracting it again. There we go. Um, and mon next Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday for her, they their school, all the Italian schools will be closed for Carnival. So this way, it's good. She'll have basically a week off from school, and she won't have to worry about giving it to someone else or having someone else give it to her. With that being said, um, here we there is a Facebook page for parents, American parents who have their kids um, in the Italian school system, and you can you over the last few days I have seen so many posts from American parents about their child's Azilos, because there's Azilos all over, having an having a less problem within their school system. Maybe they should enforce parents to keep their child home or children home until they are completely clear of lice. This way they don't get anyone else with it. Give it give it to anyone else. You know? Makes sense, right? That's what I did. I took my daughter home today. She's not going to school. She has no school Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. This way she will be completely clear of it. I just, I don't understand how the Italian, it's not American parents, by the way. It's the Italian parents letting their children go back to school. I understand they got to work. I understand that. But come on. One treatment isn't going to completely clear lice up. And from what I've read on the Facebook page, um, the Italian lice here in Italy is a lot different than, I guess, the lice in the States. So new. I didn't. It. Did you? I don't know. I'm just, it's, it's a lot. I just never had to deal with it before. My husband is currently gone right now. So, you know, me alone, two kids, 1,800 square foot house, got to clean every inch of it. Well, not every inch, but you know, all of the furniture, rugs, vacuuming, cleaning, spraying, washing bedding, clothes. It's a lot for one person to do. But it's fine. I got it done. It's done. It took me a day, whole day to do, whatever. Wasted a day. Not really wasted. Shouldn't say that. Bad choice of words. Sorry about that, guys. But, you know, it's it's frustrating. Because you see, you read parents who have, um, their child has gone to Azilo, Italian school, whatever, and they have had lice, had lice, several times since the start of winter. Come on, Italian. Come on. I love Italy. I love the Italians. They are so nice. They are so sweet. But come on. Keep your kids home until they are cleared of headlights. Come on, y'all. Oh, that's my rant. I'm sure you guys can relate. You understand. You're like, you probably agree. They should keep their children home until they are completely cleared. And I understand that, you know, parents, some, not everyone is lucky enough to be a stay-at-home mom like I am. To you know, make sure have their kid home and make sure they are completely free. I just hope that this is the only time that we experience this here. It, it's, it's frustrating, and it's just my daughter too. My son doesn't have it. I checked him. I had my my friend across the street check me because I can't have my five year old do it. I'm good. I'm clear. It's just it's a lot. It's really a lot. But yeah, other than that, wow, a lot. So, yeah, how's everyone's week been? Hope everyone has had a lot better week than I have. <sighs> so, now let's go on to whips. What are you all working on? I have um, three different things going on. Three different, um, well, I guess it's four. Four, I have four whips going on. Um, two of them are the exact same thing, just um, different sizes. Um, I will show those first. I made, my niece is um, big into Harry Potter. Her favorite house is Gryffindor. Um, I have, let's see, I have two videos already up of 
um, Gryffindor patterns. I have a um, Gryffindor beanie and a Gryffindor uh, first year scarf. I will um, link both of those videos down below for you guys. But I also decided to make her fingerless gloves. These are long fingerless gloves too. Um, this one, obviously. It's still considered, it's a finished, I guess it's a finished object, FO. It's just, I haven't done my tails on that one. You can see. Look at my tails, my ends. But yeah, I have this. I did these. I have a um, video for this. Um, I will try to um, get this video up um, probably by Monday the latest. Yeah. But yeah, I like it. I like these. The only thing is, um, I think I made them a little bit too small. I can fit them on my on my hand. It's just um, and on my wrist. But once I get them to like right here, it starts getting really tight. So what I did is, um, or is it? I am making a new set, and I already made one hand, sort of. I just haven't done the thumb part, so I made one hand. But I made it um, two stitches, just two stitches bigger, and it is so much looser on my hand. So the first set I did, um, as you'll see in the video that I put up on Monday, um, it is a, I did a chain. So it's only, there's only 23 stitches on the first stitch, or on the first, first one I set I made. 23 stitches around. On the second one, I did 25 around right here. So much more room! But I guess these ones, because this is the one I did for the video for the, that I will be having up. Um, I will post it in the description box of that video that you can always increase these, um, your foundation chains, you know, to fit them to anyone. Um, these ones right here would definitely be good for um, probably someone on a smaller size, or side, sorry, smaller side. Um, my niece, she is, she's small, but she's not super skinny, and she's not, you know, 25 would be good for her. So yeah, that's the first thing that I, that I did. Did those. Uh, the next thing I did is I made, I had a whole bunch of, um, let's see here. I had a whole bunch of this yarn, Lion Brand, Hometown USA. It is in the color, um, Long Beach Line. I like it. It's super soft. It is a bulky number six. And it is 100% acrylic, but it's so, so soft. Um, I use that for the scarf. And it's doubled over. It's obviously, it's a whip. I haven't done my, my ends. And I'm not done yet. Um, I need to use some of that, this color. And I'm going to just use a solid gray. And I'm going to make fr like little tassels, fringe, whatever, for the ends of it. Um, I will have a video for this coming up shortly, too. Just haven't done that yet. Um, but yeah, I love this. It's super long. It's literally the size. I'm 5'7", and this is as tall as I am. So yeah, I did that. Loved it. Loved it. Um, I had a little bit of extra yarn. So I was like, you know what? I have two balls left of this color because this yarn, I purchased it when... Lion Brand was having their clearance bin where all of their yarn was $1. So, you know, I got six balls of this. Great price. What can go wrong? Green. My sister loves green. I was like, you know, I'm going to make her a scarf and match and hat. So, the other thing I did, or I'm working on, started a hat. It's going to be a regular slouch hat. It's just going to have those ridge. It's going to be a ribbed hat. A ribbed slouch beanie. <coughs> Sorry. So yeah, that is what I have been working on in the midst of dealing with a lice infestation in my house. But yeah, hope all of you have had, um, again, a better week than I have. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. It is supposed to be, um, it's supposed to be gorgeous here. It's supposed to be about in the about 60s this weekend. So 
good day to, or a good weekend to have all of the windows open, shutters that are um, shutters all having all the shutters open. Getting tongue tied, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, I will have a tutorial for those Harry Potter gloves, um, the scarf, and the hat. I'll have all three of these videos coming out within the next couple weeks. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, whichever side the little subscribe button is on. Um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and to go ahead and share this video um, if you wish. You don't have to. It's up to you. It's, it's nice. It's nice to have a share. Um, and also comment down below what you're working on, what you what's on your hooks. Um, anything you can ask me, you can ask me anything you want. If you have any questions, I'll try to answer you, um, as soon as I can. It's kind of little, you know, with two kids under 10 years old, I'm trying, you know, keep them occupied during the weekend. So, um, I hope you guys have a great weekend and I will catch you all next time. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.